Hey, Laura here from The Unprofessional, and I just took the railing off the end of my deck. Why, you ask? Great question. Well, because I don't think I need it. But what I do need is a really simple box step to help with the transition between the end of my deck and the ground. So let me show you how I'm gonna make it. But first, here is a look at what I had going on before I removed the railing. There was no real reason to have a railing, except that the step down was a little larger than what a comfortable stair height or stair rise should be. So by adding one step the entire length of the deck, I could remove the railing and create an easy path to the gate and incorporate the area between the property line and the deck into our outdoor entertaining space. Removing the railing was a really good choice, but as you can see, it was not the only project I had going on in this after photo. You can check out my channel for all the other projects. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. With the exception of the corner furthest from the house, I was starting with a fairly level space. To correct the sloped corner and provide maximum support for the step, I started by digging out a space for a concrete block that would serve as a footer for the stair. This is only necessary if you have a significant drop like I do. I made the top of the concrete block a little higher than the ground on the opposite side. That way I could use paver base and rock to make a really sturdy, level foundation for my step. I dug out the ground just a little bit to create kind of a boundary for the paver base and the rock, but I didn't go down near as deep as I would for a paver patio or if I was gonna lay flagstone. Now this order might seem a little bit backward, but it worked for me. First, I put down the paver base and I tamped it, and then I added some rock on the top. Now I know that this doesn't look very level and part of that is the camera angle. The other part is that my deck isn't very level so I kind of had to correct for that. You'll just have to trust me that in the end, everything was really level with the exception of a very slight grade away from the house. Next, I made a simple frame out of two by sixes. The dimensions of my finished step are six and a half inches high by 11 and a half inches deep by 10 feet long. The frame is one inch shorter on the rise to account for the one inch decking boards that I'll add later. I cut down all my middle support pieces and laid out the frame. I checked that it was square and level and then I made the outer frame. Then I evenly distributed the center pieces and attached them with deck screws. Everything is pressure treated, so my step was really heavy. I got some help moving it in place, checked the level again, and attached the step frame directly to the outside of the existing deck with three inch screws. Then I placed two decking boards, one against the deck and one on top of the frame to get the spacing I liked. Then I screwed it all in place. My second tread piece had a tiny problem. The gutter downspout was right against the step frame and I wanted a small overhang on the tread piece. So I used a contour gauge to get the shape of the gutter, transposed it directly onto the decking board, then cut it out with a jigsaw. I cut a little more than I needed, but it looks all right. Then I stained it to match the rest of the deck, added a paver patio, and it's like the railing was never even there. Thanks for watching. This has been Lara from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.